school bans bags, so boy turns up carrying books in a microwave. <laughs> I'm just confused now, the next thing he thought of that could be used as a bag was a microwave? <laughs> <laughs> what? Man eats mayonnaise straight from jar at baseball game. He looks pretty proud there. No one's gonna stop him from eating his mayonnaise. I just left the house with the phone at 16% battery. Catch me, world. I'm crazy for this one. I work in an operating room and we had a face painter come into work. This is what patients see as they are coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you trying to scare them? Because that's what will scare them. Pacific Highway, Coffs Harbour, Scott's head. <laughs> I love how his profile photo is another sign, but it's the same thing. <laughs> he absolutely loves this joke. What a mad lad. Five years ago today, I quit smoking cigarettes, and last year I saved about $2,750. What would you do with $2,750? I'd buy lots of cigarettes. When it's the middle of the month paycheck and you spend it on unnecessary stuff. Do you know about Kurt's new hat? <laughs> this mad lad bought a billboard to talk about his hat. <laughs> Why? Nearly 20,000 inhabitants of a Turkish province called Batman have signed a petition to reshape the province borders into the shape of a bat signal. It's the only logical thing you would do. My nine-year-old son has started saying Yeet. Should I start the adoption process now, or do I have other options? My suggestion is to start saying it too. Nothing makes your kids cringe more than using their slang against them. My son's name in my phone is Boy Yeet. <laughs> I call both my kids Boy and Girl Yeet in front of their friends. Every time they hurt themselves, I say oof instead of consoling them. I can confirm, after the 35th time listening to Old Town Road, I started singing it, and now the kids turn it off immediately when it comes on. You parents are mean, mean people. <laughs> Whenever my wife angers me, I get on a Pinterest and pin lots of mediocre stuff, like cupcakes that just look like cupcakes. It really gets her. Asking Pizza Hut for direction to Domino's. My mum asked where I was taking her out to eat for Mother's Day, and I told her, we got food at the house. <laughs> now I'm gonna hope that he meant by giving her breakfast and bed and everything was all good, but I've got a feeling that he was in serious trouble after that. <laughs> My bike was stolen last week, and yesterday I saw it for sale on Craigslist. So I messaged the seller, met him at McDonald's, and when I noticed it was 100% my bike, I dumbly asked to take it for a ride. He said, yeah, just don't ride off. Which is exactly what I did. I stole my bike back. I mean, suits are right. The woman in front of me at airport security has a bottle of frozen water. They want to take it. She says it's not a liquid. It's not a liquid? Yet? <laughs> my brother, to his online friends, I gotta go, my pizza's here. One of his online friends. Where's my pizza? <laughs> <laughs> my brother logs out of chat. You know you could order them a pizza. What? You know his address. Yeah, but we live in Canada. They are in the States. So you could order it online and pay with a credit card. 20 minutes later, online friend. How the hell did you get me a pizza from Canada? <laughs> Paying for people's food. Uh, they're taking it because it's mine. Oh my gosh, you mean mad lad. You mean, mean mad lad. Look at her face. She's so upset now because of you. I had a ticket for a train leaving at 1013. I got on a train leaving at 9.13 instead. I've bamboozled the entire system. I just ended a five year relationship. Are you okay? It's okay. It wasn't my relationship. Oh. I was bored, so I separated marshmallows from Lucky Charms. You must have been really bored. Like, like really bored. That's, that's a long time. Eminem, lose yourself. This song makes me want to play Wii Bowling without the Wii string. Someone stop this man, he's out of control. My dad once said, do what you hate first thing in the morning to get it out of the way. Then three months later, he called me to say happy birthday at 6 a.m. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> One time my parents were gone for the weekend, so I took everything in the house and moved it five inches to the left. It was subtle enough that it wasn't obvious, but they felt like something was off when they got back. And they kept bumping into the corners of tables and couches. I am a cruel man. Our best wishes to the royal couple on their magical wedding. 
<laughs> Did you guys put Shrek on Netflix recently just to be able to do this? It was specifically for this tweet. Yes. Netflix is a mad lad? What? I put a fake ad on Craigslist saying that Chipotle was hiring. We don't even have a Chipotle because I wanted to read people's resumes from my old high school and now the newspaper is doing an article on the new Chipotle we're getting and I have to do an interview. Well, I guess the only solution is to build your own Chipotle right now. <laughs> to all the people who thought I couldn't do it, look at me now. What are you doing? Just hanging out. So people told you you couldn't hang out? Wh what? <laughs> Proudest moment of my life was photoshopping my tire being flat to get out of work. I really finessed. Before, after. He did a pretty good job as well, gosh. A man from China bought a first class ticket which came with access to a VIP lounge that had free food. He rescheduled over 300 times in a year to enjoy over 300 free meals. When investigated, it was found that after eating, he would change his reservation to a later date. He finally cancelled his ticket and got a full refund. <laughs> oh my gosh. 300 free meals. And they must have been good meals, okay? It was in a VIP lounge. This guy's smart. Wholesome hotel staff. If it's not too much trouble, could you build a fort out of pillows? It's definitely not for a 28 year old male. They actually did it though. Now I want a pillow fort. <laughs> I jokingly ordered Mackie's four times last night because I kept forgetting I'd ordered it. They all arrived at my house before I did. Have you ordered McDonald's twice? Nob. Three McDonald's? Are you crazy? Four McDonald's deliveries? <laughs> I collect rocks, paint eyes on them, and return them to the landscape to be found or lost forever. That much dedication for no one to realize? This is truly our mad lad queen. Florida man orders Chipotle delivery and says food to the Chipotle he ordered it from. It's a fascinating story. I didn't want to go up and order the food. <laughs> That's like next level lazy if I've ever heard of it. And also, why not just stay at home and order it to your place? I'm going to eat all 12. I did. One year old son picks up toy basketball and takes three wobbly steps forward. Oh my gosh, he just took his first steps. Visibly upset. Yeah, but he traveled. Doesn't count. He's a cheater. A former student of mine went to the DMV and did this a couple of days ago. His mum posted this message. Well, it finally happened. After several failed attempts, Cade finally got a California ID with a colander on his head. He could wear it for the picture because he claims he is a pastafarian and the colander is a religious garment. Hey, he's only 17 once. wearing it. He looks like he's in the army with that picture on. <laughs> Throwing my dogs a pool party. Throwing my dogs a better pool party than Jenna Marbles. <laughs> Student punished after putting high school up for sale on Craigslist. I mean, did anyone buy it? I'd buy it. It'd be a pretty good investment. So I was buying so much watermelon juice from my local Dollar General that they raised the price from $2.50 to $4 because I kept clearing them out of stock. So I stopped buying it. Now it's back to 250 and I'm about to clear them out. You legend. What's your little secret? I secretly watch my friend's streams and support him without him knowing by using a different account. He gets very few viewers, so I talk to him throughout the stream to keep his spirits up. Oh, <laughs> that's, so, that's so nice. Wholesome lad. <laughs> well guys, that about sums up this r slash mad lads episode. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated if you could do so. Maybe even share this video to one of your friends or family members. That'd be cool as well. But before you leave, I just want to say I've got a couple of links down below in the description if you want to check them out. I've got my social media, like my Twitter and my Instagram. If you want to follow me over there and see what videos I'm going to upload next or you're just interested in following me, I don't know. Um, uh, I also have merch links, so some cool designs, some shirts and hoodies and mugs, phone cases, if you want to support me and look good while doing it as well. And lastly, I have a Patreon, so a big thank you to my current, pa current Patreon supporters. I do appreciate it. I don't expect you to support me over there, but if you do, it'd be greatly appreciated and it allows me to make better quality videos. With all that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.